Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Don't you like when uh, you help someone without um, being constrained by anything? You don't have to help that someone. You just do it because you want to. You have your own, uh, you know, desires. You have your own um, ideals that you uh, try to live up to. So you help someone. And then that someone at one point starts telling you that you don't, you're not helping enough. Or let's say you help that person uh, six days a week and the seventh you don't. And he's calling you on the seventh day that uh, calls your names because you didn't come to help him or her uh, on the seventh day. What would you do? I would just say, uh, I will not help you again. Just stay over there. But that is if you are strong enough and you are uh, independent. But that's not the case here. So I'm talking about uh, Uk Ukraine, not Ukraine, uh, you, the president of Ukraine and Germany as a state, as a nation. So as you know, uh, Ukraine with Russia, you know, uh, they have bloody noses and uh, um, some countries dis decided uh, without having to, it did not have to, because there was no, no contract, you know what I mean? No, uh, you know, um, they were not in any uh, organization, they're not members, they did not sign anything together. Uh, like in a second world war, you know, I protect you, don't protect me, we're together, we're, you know, alliance and so on. No. So Germany, in this case, decided to help, decided, I don't think it decided, it decided back, you know, but I'm going to talk about it later. Started helping Ukraine with various things, politically, they even shoot themselves in the foot by saying that they will limit and um, the little by little they said you know we're gonna help you and by helping you we're gonna hurt ourselves uh, they didn't have to do this but they did they said okay we're gonna uh, um, still buy from the, uh, the russians we're gonna buy you know fossil fuels and so on and they said well we're gonna limit it no and then they said we're gonna get rid of it and so on so they they helped more and more and more they said well we're gonna give you some money they gave them money we're going to give him some kind of aid. We're going to give, they gave aid. They said, okay, we're going to give you some uh, military equipment. They gave. Now they sent tanks. Uh, so you see all this help, help. It was nothing, nothing. It was not, um, they were not uh, bound by any contract, by any treaty to do this. Nothing, nothing. Not even NATO required that. Required the Germans to do what they're doing. And they did. And that hurt the, 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 their population, the German population. And then this, this Zelensky kept saying, give me, give. And they call, Zelensky calls out nations for not helping enough. Remember, this is that, that group that always asks something. And uh, if you say, well, I, I helped you. I helped you with this. I, and they say, well, you didn't do anything for me today. So that's what this guy, he wants. You, you could have sold your mother, your family into slavery. And he's going to come today and say, hey, what are you going to do about me? And I say, well, I helped you. I look what I did. And yeah, you didn't do anything for me today. So this is this guy. This is the idea of a bully. A bully has to be smacked because the bully is going to up his antics. He's going to just come back once, request more, once not request, demand more and demand more and demand more. The same with this guy. I'm not German, but I'm just irritated to the very irritated when I see this guy Zelensky who uses the Americans to, you know, uh, uh, force the Germans to do what he or actually it's, it's, this is the guy who uh, pulls all the strings. This is just a guy who, you know, has to yell and embarrass the Germans and guilt building for what, 70 years and all that occurs. Nevertheless, because this, this, look at this, it's a Jewish a president of a, of a country uh, in this uh, Ukraine asking the Germans for help. How do you think if the Germans say, you know what, no, we don't want to help uh, Ukraine. Do you think they're going to say, oh, you don't want to help Ukraine or you don't want to help me because I'm a... <clears throat> How do you think? And, and the Germans in say, in, instead of saying, you know what, stop. No, then they don't do that. They keep ben staying all bent over and keep getting it like they, I don't know. So this, let's go to this article where this Zelensky says Germany buying Russian oil, an act of hypocrisy and invites Scholz to Kiev. Scholz being the German chancellor after the president was not welcome over there. The president of the president of uh, Germany was not welcomed over there. But then uh, blah, blah, blah. The Germans said, you know what? 
that bad were not going to come at all. And now they try to mend fences because daddy said so. So Ukrainian president, uh, this comes from pu public world from May 7th. Ukrainian president uh, Zelensky invited German Chancellor Olaf Scholz to visit the blah, 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 in order to give strong message to Russia. What strong message? They gave, they gave these guys everything. He didn't come over there and bend over. That, what support? Do you think the Russians don't know that these guys are supporting? What's the whole, whole thing like uh, uh, Boris Johnson came over there and he walked in Kiev. Don't you think that the, the Russians don't, don't know that they help uh, the, the British forces and this and they help and the money and all that? This is just a pay homage to me. I'll come over here. I don't want to come and see you. I don't want to come and see you. I send you money. Take that. You want me to keep the money and just show myself in your capital? Which one you want? Oh, you want everything. You want something done today too, right? What's the purpose? I give you all the all the political support I give you. Everywhere, even in a UN and everywhere else, I give you. But you want more. You want me to come over there. I don't want to come. How about I don't give you anything and I show up? Would that make it? Is that And I give you, I show support. My actions are more than me showing up over there and get some pictures with you, uh, piece of uh, lady. Oh my God. So, um, it says here that uh, um, Zelensky told Olaf Scholz, uh, you cannot use the right hand to sign sanctions and the left to sign contracts, calling it hip hypocrisy. What about the German people, Zelensky? Why do you think that everybody should care about you and care about Ukraine? Why? Why do you expect that, but you don't care about them? Remember, everything that, that comes to you comes from those guys, so it's taken away from those guys. All this contract that you say, all these sanctions imposed by that country hurt those people that you don't care for, but you expect everybody to care only for you. Why? Because Russia's punching you in the nose right now. Why should it be Germany's problem? It should be because they, they, didn't, they were the guarantors of part of the ones, a few countries that were guarantors of the Minsk agreements and they didn't do shit. That's one. So they're, I think they're guilty of many things, Germany, in this case. So part of what occurs right now in Ukraine, you can take those guarantors that said, okay, we're going to make, uh, what's his name, uh, Zelensky, we're going to make Ukraine you know, follow through with the Minsk agreements and nothing happened for what, seven years? And this is happening right now, what's over there? So yes, Germany, uh, you, you, I, I think you're guilty of not being able to politically uh, do what you said you will do with your friends at that time, you would say it was Ukraine, right? Or whatever you, that you supported. Remember those? And now these guys, oh, you, you, yes, I will do this for my people, Zelensky. I don't, I don't owe you anything. You don't owe me anything. Everything I do is because I'm good. And you want more? It's unbelievable. And this guy uses this uh, hypocr hypocrisy. Yes, I'm doing this. Yes, I'm talking about this and I'm signing contract. Yes, what do you want me? You want me to stop everything right now, have my, my, my population be as it is, right? And then what do you think is gonna happen, Zelensky? Remember the uh, uh, Weimar Republic? Remember what, what occurred after that? Do you think that the population will, will be uh, in bad shape? Who's gonna win the elections next time you Zelensky. Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got that. It seems like. I mean, and this, this Zelensky thinks right now that Ukraine thing that could have been solved just between the two countries, if you want to take it uh, like that, without all this uh, NATO intervention and now the World War III and all that. This was manufactured to inflate it. Everything could have been solved in, before this and in a shorter and a more organized way. And this is where it, now you're the center of the world or, already. I think you're guilty of, of this. You're part of the problem. You are. The Russians, yeah, they are part of the problem. NATO, yes, they are a problem. This guy seems to be like they all escalate the whole thing. Now, the war is not going to be um, solved like this. So, anyway, now he, Zelensky, you know, uh, starts with uh, uh, blaming uh, Germany. Scholz says that uh, Germany is providing all possible support to Ukraine. 
So what the else you want me to do? Possible. I mean, he has, he has, Germany has been providing all possible support to Ukraine in order to empower the Ukrainian army to fight against its opponent, he said. Scholz, we have been supplying dangerous weapons right from the start of the war and will continue to support them. Yeah, you, you, maybe these people should not receive anything if they're not these people, this guy and his handlers, but they can't. Well, the Germans are not independent. They have foreign army on their territory. They do. And not because they want those. Oh yeah, we want them to stay over here. We love them. Some people probably like it for security reason. Yeah, I want someone else to secure, to provide my security because I'm so independent. Is that how it works? Or let me provide my own uh, security and then I'm independent. Which one is it? Oh, he's my friend. Really? That's your friend? The friendship turns like this in a, in a drop of a hat if the interest dictates. Anyway, so there you have a guy who's just uh, blaming the other guys for not doing not anything today. Not enough. You're a hypocrite. Instead of the other one say, Ukraine, I didn't even know where you were on the map uh, in January. Or I didn't hear. It's just ask the German people and not ask them nicely. Okay, you're going to have a drop in your uh, standards of living about 20%, let's say. And your children will not afford this, 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 this. Your, your country will be in debt. This, this is because the inflation and all the war and all this. No more Russian fossil fuel. Do you like that? Would you like, want that for Zelensky? Put it this way. Not for Ukraine, for Zelensky. Or maybe for Ukraine and see how many are going to go with it. And then one thing is when you say it. And the other thing when that really shows. When your life goes down, 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 what are you going to do then? Immediately you're going to jump up and say, hey, what's going on? And you know who's going to be blamed? Russia. And everybody will, oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. We have to. It's a war right now. Ship, ship, ship. Bah, that's what they move like. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. See ya.